Hello everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite, Aphrodite Men and Hill Tarot. Um, we're going to do the yearlies for 2022. Okay, um, this one is for Capricorn. You can check out the other videos for your own sign if you like, okay? So Capricorn, what's in store for you in 2022? Okay, we've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. All right, we're going to start the year off um, Capricorn with people, issues from the past returning into your life, okay? These are things that maybe you need to uh, resolve, unfinished business, um, a relationship that uh, maybe never took off and somebody's decided to come back and uh, reunite with you. Uh, but it is about all about love and um, it's somebody else or an issue that you need to deal with from a past situation okay in february um there may be somebody around you that is trying to get away with things or maybe you're just feeling very guarded and keeping things close to yourself but whatever the situation is that you are either thinking of leaving a situation or you're you're just keeping secrets to yourself, okay? In March, you will have reason to celebrate, okay? People coming together to celebrate. Um, this could also mean a third party situation, but I do believe, because according to your next card, that you will have reason to celebrate in March. In April, everything comes together for you. Happiness, new ventures, new beginnings. Um, everything that you could want if this is a relationship you've got the the cat the dog the home the family everything that you could want okay so that's going to be good for you in may i do see you moving on to calmer waters moving on to better things you might be thinking of leaving um you know traveling or moving house or uh, whatever it is, you, you are moving on to karma waters and that is going to be something to look forward to, okay? So you've let go of your fears and you're taking the plunge and you're going to move forward, okay? In June, we have a bit of toxic behavior maybe going on, attachments, um, you know, um, feeling very either connected to somebody that's also could be a Capricorn, um, that you're tied to or they're tied to you um, but either you're releasing toxic behaviors or you're just um, dealing with a Capricorn person okay um, in July you're gonna have to make choices and decisions on which direction you want to go or you're going to be balancing your finances out and um, you know coming out of um, feeling that you don't have enough so uh, decisions are going to have to be made this also could be a decision between two people you may have to make a choice between two but either way it's choices decisions things that are going to uh you know what suits you what's going to benefit you all right in august you have the lover the lovers okay so um there might be a commitment coming in a very strong commitment somebody that you um, feel is your partner somebody that you know you communicate with or you know very well and um, you know it's, it's going to be a, a month full of love and, and happiness there okay um, in September I think you feel that some things maybe need to be put to an end that cycles have ended and new beginnings need to proceed so you're going to look at you know all the things that are available to you what you need what you don't need let go of what you don't need and move on okay 
but you're going to make a decision on which direction also that you're going to go it also could be new beginnings um, in October there is a wish fulfillment that is coming your way um, something you've been waiting on something that you've been wanting okay it does come under the the ten of cups so this also could be a marriage a, a, a very strong commitment which will be officially um done sometime in october because that is the ten of cups so it's also the 10th month so maybe somebody's getting married someone is officially coming together okay in november which is the month of beginnings and endings you are looking at your options um wondering what is going to be best for you there might be a bit of confusion on which decision that you need to make um, but whatever it is, you have options and you, you can choose from one of these options, okay? Okay, in December, we have a bit of conflict, okay? Things that need to be resolved. Um, this could also mean building. You could be building a home. You could be building um, um, a business or, or something, but it involves other people, so nobody's really on the same page here, but... Um, it doesn't mean that you won't get out of the conflict. But overall, you have a, a good reading for 2022. And I wish you all the best and good luck with everything. Bye for now.